Hello everyone, welcome to AFC Game by Game. This is my preview for tomorrow's match against Middlesbrough at the Emirates Stadium. But just before I get into that, I've got to give you some coverage of Arsenal's 6-0 victory over Ludogorets on Wednesday night. A phenomenal, a phenomenal game and um, massive apologies that I couldn't get any any sort of content up shortly after the game. I got home from the game quite late and then the following day I was incredibly busy as well. So I just feel that it would be completely unjustified if I didn't talk about that performance from Arsenal. 6-0 win and so many positives that we can take from the whole game. First and foremost, Ludogorets, I think you've got to hand it to him. 6-0 was um, very flattering on our behalf, but Ludogorets, I think they brought something to the table in the opening 10 minutes. Um, they they play some good football at times. They look like a team that, that certainly seems to be set up well. Um, I think it was just sheer quality that shone through on the night, and towards the end of the game, you could definitely tell that the uh, Bulgarian outfit got tired towards the end of the match but we took advantage of every single chance we had it was another game where we didn't dominate possession we didn't necessarily dominate the game but we were so so clinical and to score six goals without a recognized striker on the pitch I mean you have to applaud Arsene Wenger for this new formula that he seems to have found within the Arsenal team um, big positive for me was that we were still able to go out on a Champions League night win 6-0 and have quite a significantly rotated side. We saw David Ospina come in for Petr Cech. Once again, he was superb. In my opinion, he is seriously, seriously pushing uh, Petr Cech, who does, dare I say, uh, seem to be declining this season. But he, I don't think he's been as good as I've seen him before in the past. So in my opinion, Ospina is definitely pushing for that number one choice uh, goalkeeping spot at the moment. We saw Kieran Gibbs come in. Uh, he was superb at, at left back. Um, we saw Francis Coughlin come back into the team. What can you say about the guy? He was immaculate. It's so good to have a player like him in the squad. So many aspects of his game that I think are overlooked. The way he works the ball in tight space. Um, it, a lot of people just see him as a player that's so good at winning the ball back. But his technical ability, his passing is coming along leaps and, leaps and bounds. I mean, he is a fantastic player to have. And I've got no concerns whatsoever with him coming in for the suspended Granite Xhaka for the next three games. Um, we also saw Alex Oxlade Chamberlain get a start, and boy, yeah, he took it. He played a really good game. Yeah, albeit it was just against Ludogorets, but he got himself on the score sheet. He was uh, tireless throughout the whole game. He was a joy to watch, and in my opinion, um, going into this game on uh, on Saturday, I would like to see him remain in the starting eleven, and that's not to drop a Wobi as such. I do personally think a Wobi will start the game, but I think it would be stupid not to play Chamberlain after such a good performance in the Champions League. Um, a Wobi is established. He is. He can definitely get into the starting eleven, but Chamberlain needs confidence. And if we start him two games in a row in the space of a couple of days, that will give him a confidence boost. And then we've got that game against Reading, which a Wobi can play. And then we've got a game shortly following that away from home at the stadium of like where a Wobi and Chamberlain could battle it out if Chamberlain is to have a good game against Middlesbrough, which he should do, given that he's got a, uh, a lot more belief re re uh, reinstalled in him if he um, is selected to start on Saturday against Borough. But that was great to see Chamberlain have such a good performance. He's a player that I wanted to see do well this season and hopefully he can kick on from here with a chance on Saturday against Borough. But Mazza Ozil, man of the moment, he got himself a hat-trick and yeah, he got his first assist of the season as well in the Champions League. I mean, how fantastic is that? Um, he looked so good throughout the course of the game and I'm not too bothered that... He's not really getting the assists um, that he did of last of this time last year. I mean, he was assisting almost every game last last year. But no, you know the the way he's getting amongst the goals this season, it's a joy to watch. I'd much rather he got goals than assists. He's offering so much to our all round game. The way this team is playing is just just uh, just beautiful to watch. And he is the absolute heartbeat of Arsenal at the moment, along with Alexis Sanchez, along with Phil Walcott, who scored a banging goal. Uh, Lucas Perez came off the bench and got two wonderful assists. He looked electric when he came on. A little bit quiet at times, but still his quality shone through in the end. And is he someone that we want to be giving a start against Barra on Saturday? I'm not too sure. I would like to see those revert back to our strongest eleven. But it's good to have so many influential options in and around this Arsenal team. Now, moving on to the game on Saturday... Middlesbrough, you know, they started the season okay. Um, in their last six games, they've lost four, drawn two. Um, so they're not playing particularly well at the moment. Of course, our Loney is there, Callum Chambers, but he's uh, not, not available for this game, of course, because of the the loan rule. Um, so I think they've definitely got a defence that we can get. That They do seem to ship goals very, very easily. They've got a threat up top in uh, Negredo. But nothing that we should um, we should be too fearful of. That mustafi Kishani partnership should be more than capable of dealing with Middlesbrough at home. But uh, let's not take them too lightly. The same as we did with Ludogrets. We can't underestimate them. They're a team that have got quality in their side. They've they've shown that at times this season. They are a dangerous side. Um, you can assume that they're going to play for the point. They're going to set up defensively. It's important that we see this game off early. We get, uh, we get a swift goal in. Um, um, through someone like Alexis Sanchez, Fia Walker, and you know, 
we've got such a good winning formula. I don't know uh, what I can actually say too much about. I, I can't say a lot about this game in truth because I just want to see more of the same. And I expect more of the same. This is what I'm. Uh, this is what I'm loving about Arsenal at the moment. I expect us to go into this game and get three points. Of course, there's nothing like a um, like like a, a guaranteed result in the Premier League, but. Um, Middlesbrough and Sunderland. I mean, we've got we've got to be beating those two teams in a row, and that would put us in a uh, fantastic position in terms of challenging uh, for the title this season. Man United play um, Chelsea, so someone's going to drop points there. Um, City are playing Southampton, which is a tricky fixture for them. Southampton, um, you know, were were a tough team to face when we played them. I don't know if it'll be the same for Man City, but they are a team that know how to play football. They got a uh, a rather unfair result away from home in the San Siro against Inter Milan, but this isn't a preview for the Southampton Man City game. It's a preview for Middlesbrough against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. A game that, um, yeah, I am excited for. I am looking forward to seeing how Arsenal perform. I want to see, as I say, I want to see more of the same. Um, the team that I would go with would be Petacek and Goal, Bellerin at right back, Mustafi, Koscielny, Monreal, Coquelin, Kazula. If he's fit for the game, Wenger said that he. May well be out with a knock. If in which case, if he is out, then I'd probably you know probably go with Mohamed Nene. There's nothing, uh, no concerns there. Putting him into this game, um, then on the right hand side, Fair Walcott through the middle, Mesut Ozil on the left hand side. It's got to be uh, yeah, as I say, it's got to be Oxlade Chamberlain given the way he performed in midweek against uh, Ludogorets, and then up top, I've got to go over Lexi Sanchez as well. Such an exciting team to watch. So many options. We've got players like Lucas Perez that I think could come in and do a job if we wanted to see him start this game. But um, I think Wenger will have one eye on that game on Tuesday night against uh, Reading and that's another opportunity where we can play and the likes of Perez we, we can play players like Gabriel, Rob Holding, Kieran Gibbs again, uh, Maitland Niles or right back I mean we've got so, as I say so many options and this is another three points that I'm expecting to see from the Arsenal this Saturday anyway get your thoughts on the game in the comments box below please do let me know your score predictions I'm going to go with a 3-0 win to the Arsenal as I say get your predictions in the comments box below like the video if you've enjoyed it and as always I'll be speaking to you very very soon